remember Picasso, because I remember learning about Picasso. You know, the, the guy that drew like a toddler with cerebral palsy and then everyone lost their minds. This is magnifico. This, this is beyond genius. How did he do this? What, what, what do you mean, how did he do that? I, I can make something 10 times better than that by, by tossing paint in my blender. I, I, I said that in art class, and, and my teacher went ballistic. She was like, What did you say? I said, No, you're wrong. Picasso is great. Picasso is good. You will suck the piss out of this nigga's kidneys if he asked you to. Do you understand me? Now, now obviously, she didn't do that, but I, I think there's a lot of emphasis people put on things of the past. Just because it's from the past, and you know, not really because of the quality of it. Maybe I shouldn't have used Picasso as an example because as much as I do roast him, I do respect his angles of perception theme he had going on, but you know, he's still not a favorite of mine. And, and I get it, you know, he, he was ahead of his time. But even then, if someone from a national art museum came up to me and asked me, hey, w which would you rather have, huh? That this $12 trillion uh, Picasso painting or this shit that I just found off of Newgrounds? I, I'd probably take the Newgrounds picture. I've always told people, you know, it's not that there aren't artists and musicians that are ahead of their time in modern times. It's just that people are too lazy to look for them. And, and you know, this isn't to say, uh, you guys are giving attention to the wrong artists. Drake, Ariana Grande, Childish Gambino, they're all bad. No, no, those are definitely good artists, but I don't really think that they're ahead of their time. You know, y y you gotta dig real deep to find the gems, you know, deeper. Deeper, like I'm talking about falling through bedrock in Minecraft deep. That's where you'll find the treasures. Oh yeah? Name one of them. Name one of them? You know how long it took me to find some of these dudes? You, you, you think I'm just gonna... <laughs> All right, whatever. But, but I only name one of them. The best one I know. Meet Nelward, musician, video maker, low budget god probably, and comedian in a sense. And let me tell you, this man can make songs about anything sound good. Apple shampoo, sleepwalking, ghost being inside his house. Man, he, he could make a song about how to handle yeast infections, and you'd probably still listen to it. The, the way he crafts his music is just genius, you know? Most every song you've heard will have some tune or beat that can probably be used for, you know, another topic or idea. But Nelward, I don't know how he does it, but every little beep, bump, and boop that comes out of whatever guitar or piano he uses sounds like it was solely made for whatever theme and lyrics he put on it. Now, I'm, I'm not sure his music really has a specific theme. You know, one day the genre might be pop, one day it might be alternative rock, but one thing's for certain, everything sounds fun, you know? It, it's hard to explain. It's almost like, uh, like, like playing a video game, but it's made for your ears instead of your hands. Also, what tops off some of the songs is how bizarre the music videos for them are. T take for example one of his most popular songs, Ghost. The, the entire time I was watching the music video for it, I thought somebody slipped some acid into my breakfast because I, I, I didn't understand what the hell I was watching. Now, th this is no exaggeration. First, the video starts out with him being killed by a sledgehammer. Then he appears behind his dead body as, as three ghosts playing instruments while little sketches of other ghosts fill the background as well. He gets possessed by a demon with epilepsy. Then he reappears in a public bathroom. The entire time I'm watching, I'm like, dude, what the fuck, bro? And, 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 and right as I'm about to pause the video so I can take some time to process the events that just took place, one of the sickest choruses enters the game. And then he dies. To a floating dog head. Now I'm not saying that Nell Ward is the best music artist to ever grace this earth, you know? Oh, oh his music tops all the music coming out today. Any, anyone not listening to him are a bunch of music plebs. But, but he has a unique and distinct style that I've never seen in any other artist. I can confidently say that he is ahead of his time, extremely underrated, and, and when he gets famous, not if, 
when he gets famous, and, and my channel has long died by then, I can go to his doorstep and beg for money and be like, please, bro, please. I was a fan before you blew up, please. I, I just need some money for alcohol. I, I, I mean food, yeah, yeah, food. All jokes aside, I'm 100% sure he'll accomplish whatever it is he's trying to accomplish because if you listen and watch his stuff, you can tell with each new release, every track and the video that he puts out, it's obvious that he's only getting better.